Hi, Danielle here. Welcome to Danielle's Corner. Today I'm going to be sharing how to make green chili cheese pinwheels. So what you need is tortillas. I got these pretty good sized ones. I, this is not the normal size I usually get, but I wanted to get some good sized ones for this. Some cream cheese, sour cream, shredded cheese. I already shredded it up. I, I just bought um, one of these and then just shredded it up myself. And then green chili. It says chopped green chili in a can, but I don't use canned green chili because we have our fresh hatch green chili here in New Mexico. So I went ahead and chopped that up. So I believe that's it. Let's go ahead and get everything mixed together and get going. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and mix everything in here. Cream cheese, this has been sitting out for uh, now like a couple hours, so it is definitely room temperature. You wanna be able to mix it around. How are you all doing? We are doing good. Sorry, that was a timer for something else I was doing. Okay. I meant to turn it off because I already finished it and I'm going to do it. Okay, so we got that. Set that to the side. Let me get another spoon. Now, we're also going to measure in one cup of cheese. Figured that was fine. Almost did almost exactly right. All right, cheese, and I have this one that's already been opened. I don't know if this will be enough, but we need a cup of sour cream. I have another one in case. Let me know what you guys have been up to. What's going on? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need the other one. Um, I don't think I've ever made these myself so this is definitely different for me but I love them when I go like to different parties and stuff and they're so good and I just never made them so here we are we're gonna make them together Sorry, that's annoying. I'm gonna mix this up and then I'll put in the, I probably shouldn't put in the cheese yet either. Oh well, I'll put in the green chili after I get this mixed up. All right, pretty easy. And then we just spread this on the tortilla and roll it up, put it in the fridge and let it get back to like kind of solidify a bit so that it's easier to cut. And that is it. Okay, and it says a four ounce can, and I'll put the recipe down below. The recipe I'm using, I'm using loosely per usual because I'm not putting in everything that it says on there because it has some other things that I didn't want to use. So I'm just doing these. Let's see, I don't quite know how to get a fork. It says a four ounce can of green chili. I don't think it's that much. All right. Yeah, I had a Bible study that I did in the month of July that's coming to an end. Well, it's ended, but we're having a potluck it's the last fall, just, you know, fellowship get together. And so I thought this would be a good thing to take. Let me get a little plate. Because it's good, it's easy. It's kind of, I feel like they're kind of refreshing, you know. Let me get a tortilla. It's kind of messed up there. Let me get it. That looks better. Yeah, the other one back in here. You can still eat it. It's 
still want to use it for the pinwheels. <laughs> Let me know if you guys have ever made these before. Then, mm, this looks so good. All right, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put a little too much. I don't know if you guys, when I was younger, I read these books called, by V.C. Andrews, called Flowers in the Attic. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of those books or heard of the movies, because Lifetime has done movies on them. Um, saw the movies, liked them, but read the books when I was younger and loved them. And um, they Lifetime has now come out with a series of origins for these books. So it goes back to like, you know, the grandmother was like the villain, you know. So it like goes back to see how things unfolded before we got to the books of Flowers in the Attic. So I've really been enjoying those. The last one comes is going to be coming out. By the time you guys see this, it'll have been out. But So I'm pretty excited about those. I don't know. Maybe I'll just cut this one up so we can sample it and we don't have to wait. Because I really want to try it. I know you should wait because it'll be easier to cut. You know, it'll be more solidified in there. But mm, look at that. Pretty excited about these. All right, let's go ahead and sample these because I'm just too excited to wait. Let's see, if I had let it solidify, that wouldn't be coming out like that, probably. There we go. And probably just cut off this end. All righty. Okay, so here we are. Look at how pretty. I don't know if you guys can really see it that well, but. There you go. So good. Mmm. These are really good. Mm-hmm. Let me know if you guys try these. I'll definitely put a recipe down below. Like I said, I'm not following the recipe that I found exact, but I can even put like what I did, what I put in there so that you guys can have that. This is so easy, so yummy, so good. I think everybody's going to really like these. I'm really excited about these. If you haven't subscribed, I would love to have you. And I hope you're all having an amazingly blessed day and an amazingly blessed week. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!